Now Dirty Low's like, oh shit, oh shit, what is it, what is it, what is it? And then he puts the garbage, he puts the bag down and ladies and gentlemen, it is a Put a look away from a train break. You can blame it on the tank or the disrespect if you play bad button check. Button check. What is up, Button Check Fab? Welcome back to another beautiful day of checking these buttons. And y'all already know, it is HT. We posted yesterday too. Link down below if you guys want to watch that one. That was, uh, I mean, it was a pretty big video. First one back off of the weekend from Defend the North. This one right here is very near and dear to my heart. So I hope you guys can get down with it. Links down below if you want to skip around to a certain subject. Not too many subjects, because we're talking about a big one. So let's go. All right, now into the first set of buttons that need to be checked. It's kind of weird that I'm talking about this on HT because it's not really an HT topic. We'll we'll end it on that vibe. But anyway, it's it's kind of something. It's amazing. Just bear with me. Okay, so as we're there, there's people reaching out and whatnot. Some of them in the DMs, like, "Yo, we really, I'd really like to meet you, take a picture, just chat it up and whatnot." There was one that's that stood out because I worked with a gentleman by the name of the Real Half Mind. Uh, for those of you that may remember, I did an interview with him quite a while ago, him and Shy Clementine, big up to Shy Clementine, um, queen of the vibes, you know what I'm saying? She uh, does uh, streams and also online tournaments. Anyway, I was introduced to both of them, uh, I would say like a couple months ago, um, definitely this year if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, uh, because of the real half mine, um, he was able to like help us do giveaways on button checks. So I was always like super appreciative for all his love and support. So anyway, he contacts me and he says, hey, are you gonna be there? Um, I would like, you know, to take you out to eat, you know what I'm saying, and just chop it up. And I'm like, yo, that's what's up, we'll aim for Saturday. Oh, like also the homie uh, Cheserick, right? If I'm saying that correctly, AKA Gabe Brown, right? Also did something similar and gave us this, gave me and Dirty Low one of these with the logo that says button check right there. So I'm in love with this, man. I'm definitely gonna wear this. Might put it up on the wall as well. So, you know, something like that, just, just such a blessing. I was like, I'm in love. Okay, so Saturday comes in the real half mine. Uh, he's like, yo, I'm here. You know, he was planning to come with his friends. I get there, I see him, I'm like, yo, it's so dope to finally meet you in person and stuff like that. And lo and behold, none of his friends <laughs> were able to make it. I go, yo, did you just come by yourself? He was like, yeah, they weren't able to make it. I was like, where did you drive from, by the way? He said, Maryland. He drove four hours. Four hours for that tournament, just for that Saturday night. I said, when are you leaving? He said, I'm leaving first thing in the morning Sunday, like around, I don't know, like nine o'clock, something like that. So I'm like now kind of bugging. I'm like, wait a minute, you came by yourself, you drove four hours and you're leaving in the morning? But I'm like, okay, you know, hey, hey, people do what they do, so I'm just glad to meet you in person. So we kind of wrap it up there. We go out to eat. Some places are closed by that time. It's kind of late. We end up finding this like nice little bodega, you know what I'm saying, get some food. And on the way back, he then says, yo, can we cut to my, my, my hotel? Because I'm right down the street. My car is parked right there. I got something, <laughs> I got something for you in the trunk. Let's head over there. So now I'm excited, but I'm also nervous because I'm like, is this, am I about to get Jeffrey Dahmer in this bitch? <laughs> but real talk, Dirty Glow was there so he could testify to this. Um, but of course, I know him. He's good people. So I was like, yeah, sure. You know, so we stop at the hotel. He's like, I got to get my keys. He runs up to the room. Me and Dirty Low stay down, just kind of chopping it up, talking like, what, what is, what do you think he's doing? <laughs> Dirty was like, what is he doing? I was like, oh, well, he said, he wanted to give me something and he had it in the trunk, you know what I'm saying? So we're like, all right, we'll see what it is. So he runs up, we go to the trunk of his car, he pops it open and then he pulls out like a garbage bag looking thing. I honestly thought it was a sweater or like a hoodie because I love hoodies and stuff like that. Or maybe a shirt, you know what I'm saying? But when he put it on the hood, it said boom like a thump, you know what I'm saying? So instantly I thought, did this man just get me a stick? I think it's a stick. Now Dirty Low's like, oh shit, oh shit, what is it, what is it, what is it? And then he puts the garbage, he puts the bag down and ladies and gentlemen, it is a PS5. It is a brand new PS5 in the box. Literally this man, gave me a brand new PS5. I don't have one. I wasn't even planning on getting one for like a year or so because they're still like slim pickings and so expensive. And the reason why it's not in the box right now is because I still have to fly back. I was like, holy shit, 
how am I gonna take this back? So I was able, I had to take it out the box and literally put everything. Figure out a way to put everything in my bag. This is the other box that comes with the PS5 if you're not familiar. In here it has like the HDMI, I think like the, the controller, the instructions, all that good stuff. So yeah, it was brand new. I had to unbox it and all that good stuff and I, I instantly started like, no, there's no way. I, 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 you can even ask him. I just wasn't talking. I was like, nope. I kind of went back and forth up the street. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? There's no way he said he won a lot. He got the lottery, right? I guess you got to get a lottery to get one or something like that. That way you could buy it. Somehow he got two and he was like, I just wanted to give you one, man. I, we were thinking about doing giveaways and you know what? I wanted to bless you with this because you said that you didn't have one. Who, ladies and gentlemen, who does that? Who does that? Who drives four hours basically just to break some bread with somebody that they appreciate and then drop a PS5 in the lap. Who, I, now you can under, uh, understand my, how I was so speechless. I still am. I was like, I'm about to go to the hotel room with this shit and cry. And then I was like, okay, now I gotta walk through, I gotta walk through Brooklyn with a damn brand new PS5. Let me try, let me let, try not to get mugged right quick. And then I start telling people the next day, you could ask them, I was telling everybody, I was like, you'll never believe. You never believe the love. Everybody's like, holy shit. That's what's up. That's the blessing. That's the impact. You know what I'm saying? Giving the love, they're giving it back. I instantly start FaceTiming my wife, my son. They were like, no way. This is amazing. I even start telling the real half mind, like, you don't understand, man. You don't understand. We were supposed to even kick it the next day, but he ended up leaving a little earlier. We missed each other. And I started telling him dirty low. I feel bad. I, I was like, how do you accept a gift like this? How did, like, it makes you feel weird, you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, this is, damn. I honestly still, this is, this is weird. It's weird for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm not used to, like, you know what I'm saying? Can y'all feel what I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm mixed up. So anyway, I wanted to make this, I wanted to let y'all know how much, how beautiful New York was, you know what I'm saying? Like, the love that they showed us, we're already, like, planning with each other like when can we go back how soon you know what I'm saying you know because more people got to see it just the love I would love to go back with you know if they run it again next year but the experience was amazing not only with the people shaking hands taking pictures doing interviews and all this good stuff it was just all around some of the most fun we had in a long time and for the real half mind to come through and just do something like this literally just so yo real half mind homie if you're watching this just know man it's all love, baby. The, you know, when I, when I went to Evo the first time, I think it was 2018, when the channel first started. First started, you know what I'm saying? I think uh, we only had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers because the numbers were getting up. Man, come on now. Hold on, y'all. Bear with me now. Hold on, I'm a gangster. I'm a gangster. I gotta wipe these gangster tears. Anyway, when I went to that, it was this feeling. And it just, you know, because when you do content, you see numbers, you know what I'm saying? But you don't associate and connect faces sometimes or real people, you know? So when I went to that, the amazing love just showed me that I was doing something good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, button check is not for everybody and you're going to get haters or people that just talk shit. And I get it. It's not for everybody. But for the people that it's for, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what it's all about. Man, this is why you got to love NYC FGC, man. Alpha on the cabinet, Street Fighter 2 on the cabinet, Third Strike on the cabinet. Sitting next to the goat Nesto, he doing his thing. Shout out Button Check. We out here, man, DTN, 2022, man. We all out here, shout out to the FGC. One of the greatest communities in the world, if we make it. The love is real, you know what I'm saying? So it just encouraged me and pushed me to be better. And this is what happened over this last weekend as well. It like recharged my batteries. You know what I'm saying? It just encouraged the hell out of me to want and to strive to be better for everybody. You know what I'm saying? For my family, for this channel, for you guys, for myself. So anyway, I know it's kind of mushy. This is an HT and we're over here pulling at heartstrings and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But I had to. How could I not? It's amazing, right? Is it not? I mean, let me know how y'all feel because it's... 
Yo. So that video is one more again. Definitely let me know how you guys are feeling. I also want to give a big shout out to Child, who I was talking to, Master uh, Ezekias. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name, homie. The, the FGC arm wrestler, you know what I'm saying? Thank you guys for the for the love. I'll put like some of their pictures on the screen right now. We had a great time, man. I, like I said, words cannot explain the emotions that I'm feeling right now. That's why I'm kind of getting tongue tied. The experience, well worth it. The tiredness, my legs being so damn sore right now, 100% worth it. And of course, since it is HT, we got to end it on that HT vibe. So profile on the screen right here is that Anna, um, at Anna, can't pronounce the last name, but y'all get it. Her link in the description, definitely show some love. So of course, she posted some cosplay as well, and here it is, man, oh my God, Lord, Lord, oh my God. I'm gonna be real with y'all, I don't know what cosplay this is. I don't even know if it, I mean, she got the pointy, she got purple hair, you know, she got a, Definitely, is, ladies and gents, definitely let me know how you are feeling. Thank you guys for rolling with me one more time. I know, like I said, it's kind of weird. It's HT, so we got to keep it on the HT vibe, but I had to give the testimony and love to the fans. Either way, kind of weird, but it, hey, it's HT. It's Tuesday, all that good stuff. One more again, definitely let me know how you guys are feeling. I will see you soon, if not tomorrow, definitely the next day. And as always, I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. Peace. Blah, 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 subscribe. You can. Okay, you know what, it is HT, but I was also just in New York, so I'm gonna end it on that New York vibe. Bam. I got a treat for you, baby. <laughs> NYC, baby. <laughs> the naked cowboy, there you go. All day, every day.